Here's your day five standalone project update. So, big news is the new fuse and relay box is officially mounted and wired. So we have the harness jumping over to battery source, as well as the connector to bring that harness into the ECU. So that the ECU harness is always removable. There's also this plate for the air control valve. Uh, that came from an interesting place. That nice piece of uh, steel. It is the oil filter access cover from the skid plate from our Rallycross bug. Thanks, Powers. The back is all buttoned up. The new fuel pump connector is spliced into this harness, so it's all nice and hidden. You have no idea that that is rerouted, and there is a new three-pin connector back here for fuel pump and the fuel sender, basically tying together a new harness and the old. Next up is going to be terminating all the wires. So now that we pretty much know where everything is going to go, all the wires have been labeled as to what they are. So now it's putting them to their final locations and putting a new plug at the end of them. We are still waiting on some parts as with any project like this, you just have to order as you go. And with Easter weekend and all, it's been a little slow. So yeah, we're waiting for a different part for this. I had the idea that we could also use this threaded bung here if if this doesn't work out and we could just block that off completely. We'll see how that goes. My dad was here and of course he had to come in and clean up the place. So he did some paint work on the battery tray to keep it from rusting, clean up the grounds and just kind of clean up the firewall. Gotta look pretty, right? Day six is looking like a pretty big day. We should be getting the wiring harness kind of made basically so that things can start to be plugged in. Tune in live on Twitch. ZK is going to be here live for most of the day, I do believe. So twitch.tv slash condodger240 if you want to hang out and, you know, maybe buy the guy a beer or something. I don't know.